Hey, I'm back. I tell you, I come back and we are do these cards, the um, oracle cards, the animal cards. Let me do a quick shuffle. You might not be able to see me shuffle, but I'm shuffling. Now I'm going to pick a card. Let's see. Hmm. The raccoon. I guess you can see that raccoon. 45, right side up. Let's see what the book says about Mr. Raccoon. He's wandered into my life today. I really like this dick. I've had it for God a long time. But I haven't done it in over a year. Okay, what did I say that was? 40, 46 raccoon. Okay, 46. Okay, 46 raccoon. It's a little poem about the raccoon. Raccoon, protector of the underdog. Provider for those who have none. Do you wear the bandit's mask to hide the good deeds that you have done? Teach me to turn away from rich rewards, a worldly acclaim, knowing that my generosity allows my warrior spirit to be reclaimed. Raccoon carries the medicine of the protector of the underdog and provider for the young infirm, and elderly. Often called the Little Bandit by Southern tribes, its Robin Hood of the Animal Kingdom teaches us about generosity and caring for others. When raccoon comes your way, you are being asked to contact, contact your inner warrior. Hmm. To become a protector and a generous provider for those in need. Raccoon medicine people have the uncanny ability to assist others without allowing them to become victims or dependents. Huh. Like the tribal chief of old, raccoon tends to the need of the tribe before taking anything for itself. Let me turn this TV down. Look like commercials and go up louder. Okay, let's see. Raccoon tends Raccoon tends to the need of the tribe before taking anything for itself. A troop of raccoons scouting for food is often a hilarious exercise in generosity. After rolling in the cornmeal a flour, they finally settle on their favorite morsel, giving the best tidbit to their lookouts. Huh. Raccoons have a watcher behind when raiding a, com a campsite or mountain cabin, usually the dominant male. He, he is always fed first by the other raiders to honor his vigilance as a group protector. This uncommon lack of greed is as rare in the world of humans as it is in the rest of the animal world. While other creatures fight one another for the best of a kill, Raccoon teaches a universal law of giving back to the source of your strength, guidance, and protection. Sunny, move. Go away. Move. Raccoon teaches the universal law of giving back to the source of your strength, guidance, and protection. You're also reminded that benevolence and generosity comes around full circle to reward the giver. Okay. If Raccoon wandered into your cars today, the little bandit may be telling you to look around and see who needs your strength at this time. Speak up in defense of of another instead of remaining silent when others are gossiping. Hmm. Maybe it's time to share the honesty of your time, energy, 
our possessions with the less fortunate. But remember to help those in need develop their own protector and provider skills. In all cases, Raccoon asks you, in all cases, Raccoon asks that your honor, that you honor your self and others equally. Provide for your own needs or your will will be dry. When you choose to give generously, chiefs earn their eagle feathers when they promote every human right to self-dignity. Acting in this manner brings the same honor to yourself and to your family. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I could reread this and apply it to myself. I don't know who, if anybody um, listening, uh, my subscribers or whatever, if any of you all, if this would apply to you. But the raccoon. And I, you know, been going through some stuff with, uh, uh, should I say something? But it says, speak up in defense of of another instead of remaining silent when others are gossiping. So this is what happened. I I chose not to stay silent in a situation. And, you know, it happens just like that. Because, you know, uh, a pathological liar can always manage to flip the script. But I spoke my truth, and that's the best I can do and not back down. And I don't need a... A bunch of uh, people to help me speak my truth, and I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to go get troll accounts and do all that kind of stuff to speak my truth. But I find it really, really. Yeah, you. Know, I'm. I'm. I'm finna speak on some real issues right now. I find it really interesting that this person i'm not gonna say any names because i've said it enough and i'm sure they know who i'm talking about because you're probably looking but i find it really strange that you have a sickle and you open the path but it's the path that you want people to go down you want your subscribers don't go this way no get go this way because that's the way you're paving you want them to think that somebody has made a troll account when i see it a whole different way i see a different path i see you making the troll account and you are saying all these things yourself and the reason why i say this because when I made the first video about you back in February, some of these same names jumped into my comment section and was saying terrible things. Shut your channel down. You a prostitute. And I figured out it was you because nobody else could care. They they couldn't care less about who who I what I'm saying because nobody watches my channel. But it was you that was doing that. You were uh, uh, replying back to me with the troll accounts, and it's just I mean you know between me and you, uh, Miss O, because I don't know why you. I guess it must be fun for you to do that kind of stuff. Make these troll accounts and. Turn around and may like somebody else is attacking you when it's you attacking your own self. I mean, if that makes sense, but that's you the one doing that because you you came and attacked my page uh, back in February with the same stuff. I know it was you because nobody else care. It was you. So try something else, sugar. But the truth, I'm standing on the truth and. You stand on a lie. But the truth, yeah, nothing you can do about that. And and the truth does hurt. And it may not hurt you, but it, it gets a reaction. You're going to either hurt or you're going to get angry. One of the two. And, and this is what happened. You've gotten angry because of the truth. But darling, not nobody falling for that. That's you doing that. As you know, you know good and well it ain't me. 
I don't have time for such shenanigans. I have other things to do on this computer besides play with you. Okay? But, stand for the truth if you're going to stand for anything. Okay, baby? <laughs> Goodbye, Miss O.